Good afternoon and welcome to Sittersburg Pump Company. Uh, this here is a demonstration for our Shipco SLC and our Shipco transmitter. This particular unit is our food grade unit. It's a DSSF, which is designed for returning condensate in a food grade application. And so what we're going to do today here is walk you through a typical pump cycle on a condensate return unit of how our Shipco SLC and the Shipco transmitter will operate. Now we're gonna simulate the SLC on our DSSF package to show you how the pumps will start, stop, and rotate with your high water alarms uh, and simulate all these. First thing we're going to show you is how the level in the receiver will be going up. You'll see the water level as it increases. When it hits 39 inches, it'll turn on one of the two pumps, whichever one is in the lead position. Now you can see your level is increasing up by 38 inches. At 39 inches, it'll turn on one of your, your lead pump. Now as your water level falls down, when it decreases in your tank and it goes down to your 26 inches, it'll shut off your primary pump that is running. Right now your number two pump is your primary pump, which is the one that is pumping water out of your receiver. When it reaches 26 inches, which is your low water shutoff, it'll shut off your pump. Now with the SLC, we're going to simulate if both pumps would have to be turned on from a, a high level and also we're going to simulate the high water alarm. Now, as you can see, the level in the tank is rising from 36 to 37. The second pump, well, the primary pump's going to come on at 39 as the level keeps increasing up to 31, up to 41, the secondary pump will kick on. If both pumps are running and they can't keep up, when you get up to 43, your high water alarm will, will energize. You'll notice that by the change of level and to push the silence or not to set your alarm, you can press that, press your alarm silence button. Now we're gonna let the water leave the receiver and as it comes back down to 43, your, your level changes back to your blue color. Both pumps are running and your level, as you can see, is decreasing. And when your level gets down to the 26 inch level, it'll turn both pumps off. Now both pumps have shut off. Now I want to show you on your pump control. If you go to the menu, you can down to your pump control section. Now right now what we have is in the alternated state. Which, which one's your lead, which one's your secondary pump. You can put it into a manual. When you go to manual, you can select which one is your lead, which one is your lag pump. Or if you just want it in your alternated state, you can put it in the alternated. You have your push to test buttons. And as you can see, the lights light up as when you have them in the test mode. Whenever you have it, whether you want it in the alternator or the lead lag, and you're set with that, press your home, go back to your home screen, and go back to your start point. 